There are definitive guys who stand out to me, and the first one is Devin Singletary, and I think that he is one of my favorite plays on the entire, if we're looking at the four-game slate, because we talked about this in the Week 16 Recap Podcast. In a game the Bills desperately wanted to win against the Patriots in Week 16, they had Devin Singletary out there almost every single snap, 96% snap rate in that game, and I think that if you're looking for these teams, you want to find the games where they had a lot on the line. You want to know what they did when they needed to win. And when the Bills needed to win, they relied on Devin Singletary. If we look at him overall since his role change, I believe that was back in Week 9, he is averaging 16.4 carries and 3.6 targets per game. That's 23.6 adjusted opportunities if you double his targets, add it to the carries. That's a really good number for a guy who is $6,200 on the full four-game slate. And I would argue that although... I agree with your assessment that this game, you know, has paths to failure. I still think, despite that, Devin Singletary is one of my favorite plays of any running back, but also just of any player on on this slate. What is your read on Devin Singletary? Yeah, he's definitely a a core play. I mean, absolutely on on the Saturday slate. But, I mean, in terms of the full game slate, I think he still uh, deserves that uh, designation. He's been playing heavy snaps. Not as as heavy as the 96%, but he's been at... Uh, two thirds of the snaps in I think nine straight games. Uh, yeah, nine straight games with at least 66% of the snaps. Again, 96% in week 16, like you said, in a very crucial game. Uh, he is just kind of the single bill that I would trust most if I had to pick one. I don't think we're alone in that, but uh, I do think that he's one of the best plays on the four game slate as well. I actually do trust John Brown a pretty decent amount. Uh, if you look at him from weeks 9 through week 16, which is, the I think, the most relevant sample here because that's when Devin Singletary had his role change, excluding week 17 when nobody played. Brown has 28% of the targets in that time. He has 41% of the deep targets and 24% of the red zone targets. Those are pretty monster numbers for a guy who is $6,500. So I think that John Brown also deserves to be part of our core. I, I built around him a lot on Thanksgiving. Didn't go that well outside of that touchdown pass. Uh, But I think when you look at this guy, you see someone who has a very good floor and a lot of upside. You know, the floor hasn't quite been there recently, but I think there are a lot of circumstances and factors surrounding that. You know, facing off with guys like Stephon Gilmore is going to drag things down. The Texans don't have that. He's faced uh, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, New England his past three games. That's a tough, tough stretch. So I think John Brown is also a really good play at $6,500. So among the Bills, even though I don't think this offense will do all that well, I am very comfortable having Devin Singletary, John Brown, or both in a good number of lineups.